Casey Kasem was cool. He was. Casey Kasem. Remember Casey Kasem? He was cool. Casey Kasem was just so cool. I, I grew up listening to Casey Kasem on American Top 40. That's right. Casey Kasem. And, and recently he died. But he was, he was cool, Casey Kasem. Casey Kasem from American Top 40. He was, he was one of my great inspirations in life. And I always listened to him every Sunday morning. That's right. He, he helped me get interested in uh, broadcasting and, uh, and uh, music and stuff like that. Casey Kasem from American Top 40. You remember, yeah, that guy, Casey Kasem. He also did the voice of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. We're doomed, Scoob! Yeah, you remember that. But he, he was best known as the host of, uh, of American Top 40. And I remember, uh, remember the Long Distance Dedications? Remember Long Distance Dedications on American Top 40? How people would write letters to Casey Kasem? And he would, uh, he, he would read them over the air. They would dedicate a song. Remember that? Or you remember that on American Top 40? They would always say, And now we're up to our long-distance dedication. It's from a man in Massachusetts who sent us this letter. Dear Casey, Recently, our family was befallen by a great tragedy. One day, I was chewing bubblegum, and I blew a huge bubble, and it burst and completely covered the lenses of my glasses. I thought that my glasses were completely destroyed, but this catastrophe was averted. I took a mixture of turpentine, Preparation H, peanut butter, and dog dew, and used it to clean all the bubble gum off the lenses of my brand new glasses. So, to celebrate this victory, Casey, could you please play the song I Can See Clearly Now? Because I can now see clearly after cleaning all the bubble gum off my glasses and dedicate this song to the inventor of Preparation H for inventing one of the many substances that I found useful for this task. Signed, Some Nobody. And Casey Kasem, <laughs> Casey Kasem says, after it, he says, What kind of stupid long-distance dedication is that? That's the most ridiculous long-distance dedication that I've ever read over the air. So I'm going to ignore it completely. Now we're up to the latest hit by Stevie Nicks, who once fell off the stage at a concert because... There was bubblegum all over her glasses, and she couldn't see where she was going. See, that's how Casey Kasem would always, would always uh, sound. He was always, uh, he always had a million stories like that. Like, I remember one about Stevie Nicks, how Stevie Nicks wouldn't wear her glasses during concerts, and she fell off the stage. Remember that? Remember Casey Kasem talking about how Stevie Nicks how Stevie Nicks wouldn't wear her glasses. So, so anyway, that's, that's the story of Casey Kasem. Casey Kasem, he, he, was, he was really one of my, he was one of my heroes. But he was, he was, he was, he was, uh, he was cool. After uh, 1988, he abandoned the Hot 100 music chart. And he wouldn't, he never used it again. So that's, um, that's, that's how it, how it works out. 
uh, Keithy Keith. I remember back when I was growing up, but this is probably like in the mid 80s. This, this I remember, uh, this was probably about 1984, 85. I remember once, I I was a big fan of, of Casey Kasem back then, and I remember my mom got mad and said, <laughs> and said, Jim, you can't let your whole life revolve around American Top 40. She said that. My mom told me that. Because I was always, I was always uh, making a special effort to listen to American Top 40 every Sunday. And my mom said, Jim, you'd let your whole life revolve around American Top 40. That's because it was just so cool. And then, remember, Casey Kasem was later replaced by Shadow Stevens. <laughs> so, so uh, what were some other funny things that Casey Kasem made? Remember Casey Kasem had a TV show, too? He had America's Top Ten, the TV show. And sometimes he would show the videos of the songs that were in the Top Ten. And... <laughs> And he, he always, he always wore a sweater. Remember that? Except, except I, I think the year-end countdown, he always wore a suit and tie during that. But remember how he always wore a sweater during the regular America's Top Ten. But he, the only time he wore a suit and tie was during the year-end special, where they counted down the top ten songs of the year. And uh, that was. Uh, and I remember America's Top Ten. I remember they used to have a trivia question each week. And remember that? The that cool music that they used to play when, the, when they had the, the trivia question. Because they gave away prizes to people who sent in trivia questions and had them read over the air. And, uh... And so he, he he used to count down the top ten country songs, too. And I remember one of them was something like... Uh, there, there was one of them called, I'm going to hire a wino to decorate our patio, or something like that. There was actually a song in the top ten on the country chart that, that had some title like that. And I remember how funny it was with Casey Kasem. <laughs> Casey Kasem said, at number seven this week on the country chart is, I'm going to hire a wino to decorate our patio. How, how funny it was when Casey Kasem mentioned that. But that's the story of Casey Kasem. That's right. Casey Kasem. Keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars, as Casey Kasem himself might say.